Welcome to page four of the Curator Live video demo series. On this page, you will notice experience blocks that are based on your experience selections from page three. As a digital only setup, there are not a lot of adjustments that need to be applied to this page. Typically, you will choose your image dimensions for each block, and then if desired, add on some digital upgrades. Let's dive into each block now. The first block is for single photo. Image size. We have this preset to medium, which is all you need for a digital setup. Image mirror. We've preset this to flip all photos after capture. We do this to avoid words appearing backward on a prop or background. Image dimensions. The selection here needs to match the overlay you have added. You can add your own custom dimensions here if needed. Simply leave the selection as choose image dimensions and type in your dimensions below. We suggest using our suggested dimensions when possible. There is a do not use event overlay option for you to override the event overlay if needed. Next, in the middle of the experience form, are the controls for animated overlay and backgrounds if applicable. If you are using static designs for these assets, then you can skip over this section for single photo. The last part of each experience form is always for your selector assets. These are digital props, digital filters, overlays, and digital backgrounds. Simply click on the ones you want to add and you will see your choices below under the selector asset icons. That's it for the first block. Let's move on to Boomerang. You will notice the form is almost exactly like the last. Let's apply the correct image dimension and then move on to the middle section. Here you can adjust the frames and speed if desired. And again, for each experience you can add on some digital upgrades if desired. The last block on this page is for the gallery. You will see there are no selection options here. So that's it for page four. We'll see you in the next video where we will customize the sharing screen settings.